Hello, welcome back to the channel and it's some more restora restorationing, restoring of the MX-5 Mark 1 that we got for 150 quid so you could probably imagine the state it's in today we're on with stripping the rear caliper out cleaning it, painting it caliper, uh, caliper carrier is going to be getting the same treatment probably have to clean the discs up, I know they're brand new but it's been sat a while now and there's a bit of surface corrosion on there so we'll get them cleaned up uh, wheels, I suppose we should show you the wheels as well I think I mentioned in the last one we've got some BBS uh, off a uh, Unus Roadster genuine, would have been fitted to a Mazda 30 years ago 30 years ago? yeah, 29 years ago I've been on with uh, sort of cleaning them up, polishing up the rim. Uh, I'm going to paint the centre. Not sure what colour yet. Uh, I don't know whether just to do it silver, tie it in with the bodywork, or black, something to stand out. But that'll be decided near the time. Anyway, let's get on with some work. The uh, the rust converter has had a chance to, to cure so now we've got some of this in white it's going to be like a primer and extra protection um, <clears throat> and then we have to order some paint to match the uh, bodywork it's going to look tidy So there's sort of one coat in there. I'm going to do that silver all up there, silver down the front. I'm going to leave the chassis, I think, as it is, and that spring uh, cup mount thing. So I'll just get some some tape and mask that off. I right, couldn't find my masking tape, so I've just got some blue roll wrapped around that spring and that upper arm, just to uh, keep overspray at bay. Let's continue. Do. I'm getting too much overspray on my phone. Right, so the first thing you'll want to do is make sure uh, the vehicle's chocked. It's not going to roll anywhere because we're going to have to take the handbrake off to take this caliper off. <clears throat> and then we have got a 10 mil which I'm not going to get this socket into, so I better get some of it. Right, we're on a 10 mil. I'm just going to crack this one off. Right, and then I need to clamp this brake hose. If you haven't got a set of brake hose clamps, like me, uh, I'm just going to use a set of Morley's. Uh, obviously not done up proper tight we just want them enough so that they'll stop the uh, majority of the brake fluid from flowing out um, if you've got some sort of rubber tubing you can pop it over each of the uh, sort of the pliers plier ends and uh, that'll protect the brake hose you can wrap masking tape or electrician's tape around it I'm just going to uh, use a rag just put a rag around there first and then uh, clamp these on and that's hopefully going to uh, protect the insides of the brake hose itself and just stop any fluid from uh, leaking so 12mm spanner just crack this 
pipe off. If it does start leaking, you could always uh, just nip them up a little bit more. I think we'll go down to the hose. Nothing dripping out of that. Just some bit of remnants from out of the caliper itself. So that's that. Now, handbrake cable. Uh, probably gonna crack this in 14 mil off I think might be the thing to do never actually taken one off one of these I think that bracket looks like it detaches so if we do that yeah I should be able to unhook it from the sort of the little pivot there we fucking go look just like that lovely and that just leaves our 10 mil down here I think I might get a rebuild kit for these calipers as well. When I did the pads, the boot around the piston was a bit bit baggy. So it might be worth getting a rebuild kit. And then we know it's you know brand new pretty much then don't we? Take that out, there we go. And there we are. One caliper. carriers held on with 14s as well so let's get them cracked off <coughs> Just set the pads somewhere oh fucking hell set them aside somewhere uh, safe and make sure we don't lose the shims this off and then uh, let's get to the vice right so we've just got this wire wheel attachment for the angle grinder just gonna go over this surface sort the sides then I'll flip it over and do the other side obviously some safety goggles on Get it looking tidy. That looks loads better. Now I'll flip it, do the other side, do the same with the brake caliper. I'm not going to show you because I think you get the picture. Right then, caliper is on, carrier is on, brake hose is on, I've got to put the handbrake cable on, bleed it up, um, and then that's that probably should have let this paint dry for another day or two I think it's still a bit soft but hopefully that will clean up uh, what I am impressed with is these so what I've done is polished the lip up and then I've just taken off the paint that was on 
the sort of the center the face of the wheel um wasn't on there very well i don't think they keyed this surface so it made my life easier uh yeah once it's on the car i think it'll look sweet like share subscribe the car lovers channel